Hello everybody, welcome back from my little knife show here. Uh, today I want to show you a pretty cool knife out from Kershaw. Uh, it's called the Cryo. Um, this knife won um, the 2012 Best Buy Award at uh, Blade Show 2012. So I figured ah, I'll pick it up and see what it looks like. So here we go. We've got pretty neat little... Uh, little folder here it's an assisted folder I've got the titanium colored scales um, it's a titanium carbon nitride coating I think um, just sounds like some kind of coating they don't say too many specifics about it but sounds like a, a very wear resistant coating um, <clears throat> this is an all all metal knife here really all steel um, so initially it it feels a little heavy for its size it's a you know, it's a sort of a medium size folder, I would say. Uh, it weighs in at 4.2 ounces. Uh, on my scale, it weighed 4.3 ounces, so their specs probably really close. I don't trust my scale perfectly either, so. <laughs> um, but I do weigh it every time just to compare. Uh, this is a Rick Hinderer design. Um, looks very similar to another knife I reviewed recently, the 0550. Um, but it has the, uh, it's a frame lock. It has the uh, lock bar stabilizer to prevent overextension on the lock bar. Um, it's a uh, really stylish little knife, actually. The gray with the black design, very, uh, very Spartan, very all business looking. Uh, so, you know, uh, I think it's also small enough that you could wear this, you know, in your pocket in the office and uh, or out, uh, out for dinner. And nobody's going to think, oh, man, he's, he's bringing weapons here. Uh, so, nice muted construction. Uh, we have a, a lanyard hold he hole here. Uh, pillar construction. Some nice uh, black pillars there. Um, blade centering is spot on. Let's see if we can see that. There we go. Spot on, which is really good for, for a foreign produced knife. This is uh, this one's made in China. Um, at this price point, you you know that's that's all you can expect really. Uh, it says right here, Rick Hinderer Design. Uh, it is the 8CR13 MOV steel. So uh, good quality Chinese steel. Um, not not exotic, but um, you know, you're going to get some good use out of it. Um, and it has the, you know, you can open with the thumb stud or you can open with the, uh, the little flipper here, which is pretty cool. Just flops right out. Uh, really an attractive package. It's a good looking knife. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get that once again. And then the, the lockup is, you know, about a, well, right now about a third of the way across, third to a half. But there. Really fast deployment. Um, you know, it's got the drop point blade uh, with the ground swedge here, very handsome knife. Uh, has a nice edge on it. It's not, uh, not hair popping sharp out of the package, but it is sharp. It's very sharp. So there it is, pretty cool. Uh, you do have the finger choil here, so if you were pushing with the knife, your hands there's really no risk of your hand sliding down the blade. Um, th you also have some jimping both on the frame here and the blade, so you have good traction up there, even though it's a, r a pretty much smooth knife, uh, you still have good grip on it. You also have some jimping here on the finger area of the rear bl uh, rear handle. so. Good traction, even though it doesn't look like there was an intended, uh, you know, really any aggressive traction plan at all. Uh, but it does work well. Um, does feel solid in the hand. I, I can't imagine this thing wearing out anytime soon. It's it's all steel. Um, you know, as I said, um, it's uh, kind of a two-hand operation to close, but that's not a problem. Um, deep pocket carry, so this is going to go you know, far enough into your pocket that nobody else is going to know you're carrying it. Um, also, the the pretty much smooth handle construction here, there's nothing to catch on it, so it slides in and out of the pocket real easy. And real quick to deploy. Show you another knife that, that's oddly similar. Uh, another knife that's very similar to this knife, look at that. This is the Rick Hinder 0550 from Zero Tolerance, which is uh, you know a division of Kershaw. Um, you can see the family resemblance here. 
uh, you know, same kind of lock bar. You've got the overextension, uh, you know, guard there. Uh, pillar construction, very similar. Uh, this one is assisted. The zero tolerance is not. That is a manual release, but it's pretty much a mini version of that. So, really neat design, and for a lot less money, I might add. Uh, this one, uh, MSRP is about $50. Uh, you can find it really just just over 30 bucks. a lot of places. So, check it out. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll have more content up for you soon. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you next time.